Hi guys, Eric Beard here to talk about a thoracic mobilization regression. If we look at this sideline thoracic spine mobilization, one that I think uh, Moishe Feldenkrais put together as a manual therapist, a movement therapist decades ago, one thing that I find is many of my clients can't let go into the stretch. Either they have um, some overactive tissues, restricted structures, they have the inability to kind of let go mentally into it. Uh, but one part of it that I've found is that if we can position the shoulder comfortably, then we can overcome a lot of that. So do your soft tissue work first, of course. So I'm going to set us up. I'm going to skip a lot of the setup on it. I'm going to go right to these two adjustments that I'm talking about or regressions. I'm going to use a regular three foot, six inch round, round uh, six inch diameter foam roll. I've got a mecha back wedge here, but you can easily use a half roller, a full roller, or a pillow. We're going to start off in sideline, hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder. Uh, have your clients at about a 90 degree uh, angle of hip flexion here. More mobility, have them come up. We really want to come up and there's some hip flexion to lock this hip into place. What I like to do for my clients too is have the roller come right up to that upper arm so it's in line with their body so they've got this perpendicular relationship between the upper extremity and their trunk. Having a pillow or a prop here is nice. Two props for this video only though, but a TheraBand stability pillow, towel, something like that. Start off to the side. Now normally when we would do this, many people would just kind of reach open and open up. Uh, I a lot of times see uh, migration, anterior migration of the humeral head, throws the shoulder girdle out of alignment and people end up in these awkward positions. You more of a stretch of the bicep and the anterior deltoid as opposed to the thoracic spine. So here are two solutions that you can use. Number one is we can go ahead and take this pad or object, place it just underneath the shoulder of the upper back and then relax down into it. So they're pausing, they're holding here. The whole weight of their body doesn't go into this stretch. They can work, do some <sighs> diaphragmatic breathing, get the intercostals to let go. And over time, you can shorten the height of the object and then work down, work down, work down until someone can come to the floor quite easily. Another solution that you can use, as you probably saw me do it in the video, is you can take the hand, instead of leaving the arm straight like this, you're gonna put it behind the head Give some gentle support to the head and spine, but we'll hold on like this. Now what this does, it allows the mobility to come more from the thoracic spine as opposed to the shoulder girdle. So if someone's falling out like this, even if they're all the way, all the way down on the mat, we're not getting malalignment of the shoulder complex discomfort on the shoulder joint. From here, they can work on that diaphragmatic breathing. And if you do this with the pillow or the towel, you can actually add, have them add downward pressure not with the elbow, not with the shoulder, but with the ribs and the upper back, have them push down into it. You get those rotatories and, and the multifidi activating around the thoracic spine to get us to push down to it, as well as some of your obliques, depending on which way that you're rotating. So if you're having some challenges getting quality results from the sideline thoracic spine mobilization, two alternatives that you can try, uh, you can have the arm up behind the head, cradling the head as you roll back instead of out to the side. And you can also try propping up that upper quadrant of that trunk on the way down. I'm Eric Beard. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.